Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Sharipushta. This is a new mod map out by Big Up Papa. 146.39 megabytes download. There are six required mods that download automatically. They are listed in the description. On top of that, there are no additionals. So in the build mode, other than the required mods, there's nothing been added in by the map maker. There's no vehicles, machinery, anything like that. Uh, there are no additional crops added in, uh, but contracts are available. Now, this is a small map, and I have to say, what I like about this, this is only the second map by Bigger Papa. I'm sure it's the second one, isn't it? Because we did the other one uh, the other day, didn't we? Lost Worlds, yeah. Um, it's not clunky at all. I know I often refer to them, sometimes maps are a little bit clunky. It's really, really well put together. It's a small map, the same as Lost World was. Um, small but perfectly formed. Um, hasn't got a lot of cell points, hasn't got a lot of fields. I think it's 15 total, um, 13, say, workable fields, and two meadows. Um, as you can see, we've got a sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger. This is one of the required mods. This is the silo living by Omatana. So we've got the silo here that we can live in. We go inside the building and upstairs and... There's a wardrobe trigger and bedrooms, and yeah, it's very cool. I use this one in Edgewater, I like it a lot. The map looks like this on New Farmer, we start with 14, which is the main farm area that's 50,528, and field 9. Um, we start off, I say we start off, um, building your way up is doable because we've got a small field there. We start with field 9, meadow 13. 65 grand then filled 10 148 then it kind of works its way up we've got another one there a couple of smallish medium sized ones up to the larger fields here 789 grand 833 646 so you know there's nothing mega mega expensive and you can gradually work it out which is pretty cool and as you can see um, it's not a big map. There are you can't buy the verges, the periphery around the outside. That is the map, the map boundary and edge is just there. There's a railway line that runs along, but it goes to nowhere, or it goes somewhere, but the train doesn't run anymore. It might be disused. Who knows? There's a story behind it somewhere, which again I think is really cool. Um, slot count we'll talk about now. It's 647 on New Farmer, and you start with the vehicles, machinery, and equipment you see around us. Um, including this, this um, we've got the silo and all this stuff here. On farm manager and start from scratch, that comes down to 528. I will show you a picture momentarily. Um, you don't have any of the vehicle's machinery, you don't have the silo, you don't have the shed over there, you don't have the lime station, but you do have the seed fertilizer and lime point, and you do have the sleep trigger. You do have the cow barns outside, and there's a food mix we'll have to look at in a moment. You have all of that, um, and it will look like this. But if you don't want that sleep trigger, if you don't want the seed fur and lime, you want to use something else. If you don't want the cow barns and there's a water tower over the back there as well, just see that. It can all be removed if you want to, and I got the slot count down to 461 if you want a sort of a real blank canvas. So as I said, sleep trigger's just there. Farmer 400 silo, that's a standard one. Part of the um, silo living by Omotana does have um, a silo... I want to say 15 million litres, I think, it is multi-fruit as part of the pack, which is one of the required downloads. Cultivator there, our trailer there, header and header trailer. We do have a fuel point. Where was the fuel point? That's over here, isn't it? Where's the fuel point? Uh, plough. No, this, no right, this is something I want to talk about. So, as we go around, see all of these? Pallets and barrels. I don't think I can put the barrels up. The barrels are too heavy. So the recycling logos. This is a curiosity. <laughs> because all around the map, you've got green barrels over there. You'll see as we go out the yard, there's all these things that have recycling logo on them. But there's no recycling sell point. If you look into the menu here for prices, as I said, there's no additional crop types added in. And I go down the whole thing. There's nothing for recycling. So I'm not quite sure, unless it's just there for you to tidy up into one place if you want to. You could set yourself up your own kind of, I don't know. There's no, one of the required mods isn't a recycling centre or anything like that. So yeah, it is a curiosity. Anyway, that being said, we have got over here our harvester, 
two John Deere's cedar just there. And this, this again, this is a, an interesting one. That's a seed fertilizer and lime by point. That's a lime station. If you've got that, you don't technically need that because you can buy your lime from there. I mean, you might not want either. That's entirely to you, of course, as well. Um, when you do remove, if you do remove anything, you can't remove the walls and I couldn't remove the lights. The lights stay where they are, but it's pretty cool anyway. Uh, if we go across the way, out of the main yard, we've got two cow barns. Each one holds 70, so 140 total. Quick maths. I say quick maths. It's actually on the description. <laughs> does make life a little bit easier. Uh, if we come across here, you'll see what I was saying about recycling. Look, we've got these boxes with recycling logos on. They're all liftable. I don't know. They might just be there for decoration, but jet wash just here. Down the side of the building. Water point just there at the water tower. We come around, we've got manure heap around the back. And then we have got a total mix ration feed mixer. So on um, New Farmer, that's already part of, you know, you have that production already in place. Uh, if you come onto your farm manager and start from scratch, you'll need to buy the land and then you'll get access to that. But if you don't want that, it can also be removed if you want to. As always, at your discretion. So let's grab one of the tractors. There's not a huge amount to get round, but you'll see as we go around, it, like I say, it's really nicely put together. So it does say in the description that um, Sharapushta is located in Hungary. Had its heyday, oh, that's another recycling thing there, look. Can we pick that up? No, better. Um, had its heyday in the sort of 70s and 80s. I suppose around that sort of Soviet communist era rule, you know? Um, and it's so this is modern Sharapushta, so can you bring it back to its former glory, that kind of thing? But as you can see, like I said, it's not clunky, it's really I don't know. I, I like the texturing, I like the colour palette, the lighting works. It's got a nice, smooth, flowing feel to it. It's one of those maps, if you're sort of just getting started out in the game, you don't want to be overwhelmed too much, you just want to do a bit of farming, have a go, try things out. It's one farm, few cell points, nothing overly you know, crazy, nothing too complicated, not loads of productions, not loads of whiz-bangy, cool, newfangled stuff, just quite straightforward. Animal Dealer is just here. Again, quite basic, quite standard, but it does also give you the ability, if you want to, because, um, actually, I was going to say that, can the land be purchased here? Um, because the main section here in the middle, the town bit here, can't be purchased. Oh, it can't. I was going to say, um, you could add some buildings and stuff on if you want to, but unfortunately you can't purchase this bit of land. Oh, well. So that's Animal Dealer, back down past the farm. Not the fastest tractor out there, but hey, we get to see the scenery, don't we, as we go. How's everyone doing? Everyone alright today? Hope everyone's good. If you haven't watched yesterday's mod review, check it out. It took quite a long time to set up and do. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit of a crazy one yesterday. So, turning in just here. We've got the vehicle shop and workshop trigger just in there. Some more recycling, recycling objects. Uh, that is also the reset point for the map just there. If we come a little bit further out. This is, again, it's one of those weird things. When you're doing map tours, you're sort of going around and like I do, you're making notes. Some maps will just have cell point one, cell point two, you know, whatever it might be. Some maps, they're named, and sometimes they're named after friends of the map maker, modder, whoever it might be. Sometimes it, the, the actual cell point name means something specific in whichever language it is, whatever map you're on. This one seems, it's got two that are named, and this one just says cell point. And it, I always find that curious, that whether it is, was intended to have a name and it just didn't get done. So that just says cell point. 
And again, it's not a criticism, it's just I find it fascinating. It's that kind of thing of, if you were going to name them all, would you not name them all? If you haven't named them all, or one stands out, why? My brain just starts ticking away thinking, I wonder why that, you know, that was left. Like I say, it's a tiny thing. That's... So the craziness in my head works when the voices start. So, continuing south. And again, like I say, it's... It's actually very picturesque for, for such a small map with not a huge amount on it. It has a really nice feel to it. And this is what I'm talking about. So when we come to here, there's a cell point here. So it's Bowley. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. B-O-L-Y. Cell point just there. So this, we've come away from the, the small... Um, and again, my, your brain starts ticking away. You've got the, the tiny little village there, we've got the little farm, we've got a railway that doesn't have a station, there's no train that comes, it doesn't go to anywhere, and it makes you wonder, does the train ever come? Is there a train? Is it disused? In its heyday? Were the trains up and down all the time? And then we've got the main road, again, the main road cuts right across the map. Where does it go? There's a bus stop. Fast food, fast food restaurant across the way, just there. Keep going a little bit further on. We've got another cell point. This one's called Caliban Gal, just there. So a nice little cluster of cell points to give yourself a few options. Pick the one with the best prices. And then back out to the main road. Is this the first map tour I've done where I haven't pulled out in front of traffic? It might well be, of course, now everything comes, doesn't it? Look. <laughs> it always reminds me of going on holiday with my parents. We'd pull up to a junction, there'd be a car coming, and my dad would wait and then everything would come along the road and my mum would be like, you should have pulled out, you should have pulled out when you had the chance. <laughs> oh dear, anyway. And then finally, we've got the farmer's market, just there. We pull in and stop. And that's the map. Like I said, it's got a really nice feel to it. It might not be your cup of tea at all. It might be the perfect map for you, the, the map you've been looking for. I'm just showing it to you. That's Modern Sharapushta by Bigger Papa. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form if you have. Please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.